Okay, if you want to line up uh, multiple shape layers, let's just uh, let's do a polystar here. And uh, what else are we gonna do? Um, a square. Let's make the stroke a different color. It's nice and ugly. And then maybe a circle. So I'm just using the Q key to um, change the tool. All right, so I've got three shapes here. I'm going to press the U key twice to reveal all the modified properties. And as you um, look, each of the shapes that I created has a position value. Okay, there's one right here. There's the position for Polystar 1, a rectangle 1 here. There's the transform position for that one, and the transform position for the ellipse. Now, Let's figure out which one you want to be the master. Let's say the uh, polystar is the master. All you have to do is, so if you want to line up rectangle one here with the polystar, grab this pick whip right here. Make sure this column is, is available. That's shift F4 will bring up the parent and link column. Okay, so you just grab the pick whip rectangle one and drag it to the position of polystar one okay that's all there is to it if you want to line up the ellipse transform ellipse grab the pick whip tie it down here but if you want to offset that just let's go in and edit this expression and just at the first of it first of the expression type value plus, okay, now you can do whatever you want here. If you want it to be aligned, just reset, which will set all the values to zero. See, that are at zero. And then you can just adjust wherever you want to go. Now, any place that you move, polystar one, everything will stay lined up. Okay, you got that? That's how you do it on a single shape layer. Okay, again, if you want to be able to offset the positions, go down here, the expression to do value, help if I can type value plus. Okay. And then you can adjust that position any place that you want. And they will all follow the animation of your key. Uh, if you get on a whole lot of stuff here and you want to see things a little better, you can always uh, just, trans uh, just type position. Because uh, that's what we're going to be working with. And that will show you just the position properties. So you just have to pay attention to the names here. And you can animate away. So polystar1 right here. Let's change the position. There we go. Okay, you can also animate these two guys. Oh, I'm getting a little carried away here. So we'll go there and let's just uh, reset this one and reset this one and now we've created that animation okay hope that helps